swag, bitch. In the video that you guys are about to watch, I am working on a 301 CC engine Predator from Harbor Freight. It comes with a one inch shaft, jack shaft, oh, I'm sorry, not the shaft from the engine to out, the horizontal engine. So I bought a cheap torque converter off of eBay to put it on there, not knowing that it was a 30 series torque converter, but I should have had a 40 series, which they're much bigger and they have a lot more room so I can put stuff onto there. Well, in the video, you guys will see some of the stuff that is messed up and what's not. So, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you uh, hit the subscribe button and like. Um, some of the stuff that I am doing on it, I know what to do, but here and there. So, don't follow me exactly, and if you break your own stuff, I'm not liable for anything. Um, I'm just showing you guys so you guys have a little bit of an idea of what you might have to do if you decide to do what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, I might just put a centrifugal clutch on it for right now, but still, I'm not sure. So I hope you guys learned something, and I hope you enjoy. Let's get into it. Hey guys, what's up there? All right. So as you read on the title, this is a 301 Predator engine with a torque converter on it. All right. The torque converter this engine is brand new and never been started yet. Well, it's been started from the factory, but not from me. I have still have to loosen the throttle cable because there's weight too tight. Uh, choke and shit has not been touched yet. Fuel on and off has not been touched yet. So now I'm all touching it for the right person. Alright. There's the item number, the gasoline engine, and the CC power. Alright. Boom. You must run 10, 10, 15 to 20 minutes for every three months. Add fuel to it or avoid the warranties. Ah, and add it. You must clean air filter regularly to avoid or avoids the warranty. Bullshit. All right, these things have gone forever. All right, so now getting on to the torque converter. So the torque converter on the engine itself is one of them little cheapo guys. All right, so I couldn't get it to fit the other way. Like the way it's usually supposed to go on any kind of mini bike or other go kart. So, for that reason being, it was this thing right here. I was thinking about putting a bolt in here or whatever. I couldn't do that. So I started grinding this off down here. I grounded one of the studs off of here, off the back, so it would fit. Well, it wouldn't fit even though I rounded it off. And then I decided maybe I should hog out the holes a little bit to get me a little bit more play so I can move it that way more. Yeah, that didn't work. So I put it this way because this was the only logical way of putting it to go onto the go kart itself. And as you can see, that's going to be a long, long chain from here, from here to about way down to there and around still. And I don't even know if the chain's going to fit, but. That saying, you put it on like that. I still have to put lock watchers behind these. Uh, the shaft is really easy to put on. This is very complicated because you have to make sure that this is all lined up in accordance to perfectly go where you need it. Which right now, this is just loose. But basically, you're going to slide this onto here like this. You're going to make sure that key in there goes over top of that key that's on the shaft itself. So my thing is getting it lined up. There it is, it's lined up. So you push it back. Slides up pretty nice. It is a three quarter inch shaft. 40 series would be easier. All right, now that's on there. You don't want to put that on just yet. All right. Okay. This belt here, you're gonna have one side where it's sort of, where it's like just straight. You're gonna have the other side that has a little bit of a curve to it. You want the curve on the outside going out 
towards you. So me, I just do them like this. I put it in there. I put it around the sprocket like that. If I can even get it around. Yep, there it goes. So she's on there. All right, and then basically you want to slide this guy into here. But you don't want to make sure them two parts come apart because the springs are very hard to put back together. Get that guy in there, slide her in there, and then boom. Now they gave me a do a wash for this, but I'm just, you know, getting this rigged up somehow to start running. But yeah, that's how I had it rigged up before. So that's the way she go. I'm thinking either of moving my plate to work this one out, but this is a 30 series. I have to probably get a 40 series. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So I have no idea what I should do with that, but I'm definitely using the motor. There's no doubt about it. I want the motor to be used. So I might buy a 40 series torque converter. But in all honesty, the engine itself is a 301 Predator. And I need to make sure that it's going to be able to last through the abuse that it's about to get. So... Basically what I'm going to do is, I'm quitting for tonight because it's currently 12 o'clock at night. I don't have work tomorrow, so I'm going to enjoy my night. Uh, probably get done editing up this video. And then, um, yeah. But right now I have the sprocket and the brake caliber on it, on the live axle itself, just so you guys can see that. But, um, yeah. So I have to figure that out. But any questions or concerns, you can pop them in there. But don't buy a cheap one. Just go out and buy this, the 40 series twerk converter. It'll go this way. You'll have a short chain and shit. But me, I might need to get a new plate so it can jack up so this can miss this. Because that has to come all the way back here like this. Because then you got, you got interfering with your seat now. But she does look pretty damn good from what, from what I'm looking at. So, yeah. She's like, badass. But I think the engine needs to come closer to the middle. But that's just me. That's my opinion. Alrighty. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Oh, and there's all, there's always one rule that I have. I have a micometer here. Just so I can check all my shit and everything. And, um, real fast. I wanted to show you guys the belt size. Because, you know, for my thing. Because I'll probably burn the belt out. Or even if... I will probably not have like a good belt size so there's the belt numbers and everything just so you guys like me i what i did with the first time was i built one of these wrong i burnt all the belts out of it and i could not find a belt for it so i ended up selling the damn thing which i really miss it but yeah that that was fun that that thing was like amazing like the best thing i ever had with a twerk converter that was the funnest thing but now, um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you guys learned a little bit. I hope you guys are installing yours and having a little bit of fun with it. It's always a good time when you're doing something with the mechanics. Because either you're getting pissed off or it's funny as shit. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope I see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, just so the video is almost over, I wanted to say this. The picture that you are looking at right now for $180 is a 40 series square converter on um, Amazon. So this is the one I suggest buying if you are going to get a 301 Predator for your mini bike, um, mini bike, go kart, any other kind of custom project that you might be doing. Um, that you're putting a 301 or 420 Predator engine on. Uh, me personally, the idea was for to get the cheapo and put it on there, but that uh didn't work out according to plan. Cause the last engine I had was a 196. Baja Warrior. Um, I will make be making a video of that shortly just to commemorate the time I had with it and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.